I grew up with it. So I read 1984 probably three years after it was first published. Um, I read Brave New World around that time in my life. Um, I read a book called uh, Darkness at Noon, which is actually not speculative fiction or science fiction. It's, it's, it's life in the purges of the Soviet Union, but it read to me very much like that, that kind of book. And I, I just, growing up in the 40s, I was still in the golden age of, of sci-fi, and I just knew it. So I also did some work on it earlier in my life, and I, I guess I just always wanted to write a book like that, and the first one that I wrote is called The Handmaid's Tale. And I wanted, among other things, to uh, try to solve the problem that those kinds of books uh, have, which I call the, the tour of the garbage disposal plant, in which the person says to the visiting character, well, in your day you did this terribly inefficient thing, but now we have this wonderful garbage disposal plant. And there's a lot of exposition like that, and I wanted to be able to tell the a story like that without those big chunks of exposition. So partly it was a challenge, but partly it was also a number of burning issues that have now become even more burning. And it was the same with the Mad Adam trilogy, which begins with Oryx and Crake, and we see the world of the future from within a privileged um, environment. Our narrator, Jimmy, is of that environment, though not good at it. And in Year of the Flood, we move outside the privileged part of that society into a pretty uh, criminal uh, level of it, which nonetheless contains the very high-minded cult of the God's gardeners. And in this future, um, genetic modification is not the only problem. We're also in, um, in an age of advanced climate change for instance, which will bring with it a whole bunch of other problems that people are just beginning to think about and, and figure out. Yes, my artifact is in fact this wonderful um, hat which was made last year for a performance of The Year of the Flood. When we were launching the book we did performances that have music and uh, dramatic elements and narration. The God's Gardeners recycle everything. So we have the pot, it is twisted newspaper, it's cardboard, this is plastic bags, and we have the little plastic bag bow at the back. And the Kingston, Ontario production of this thing, they made all the costumes. And they've all got they've all got hats like this. Since we're traveling to Japan and recreating it all there, I've got the hat with me. Well, in the year of the flood, the gardeners, a green recycling group, don't use any technology. That's their story. And the reason they don't use it is that if you can see it, it can see you. Uh, it's very leaky in that way, and one thing that people are using this kind of technology for is, is spying on other people. So security is a big issue. If, if you don't want other people to read your emails, don't send them, <laughs> number one.